Last week in AI was all about Alibaba's Coin models. We covered them all and I thought maybe we will see something emerging from West, maybe from OpenAI or any other lab in terms of open source and open weights model. But lo and behold, we have another Chinese model from Tencent, which is rivaling Alibaba's Coin3 models. Though the benchmarks don't show that this model has beaten Alibaba's Coin3 model, but this new Hanjuan family of models is quite promising. And that is what we are going to install in this video. I am going to not only install it, but I'm also going to check it out on various benchmarks. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe as that helps a lot. So what is happening here? First and foremost, let's have a quick look at this new family of model, which is part of 10 cents open source series. This family is designed for broad deployment across different hardware environments. It comes in numerous sizes from edge devices to large scale production systems. I will be installing this 7 billion model in this video, but I will also be covering their smaller models down the road. So stay tuned. All of these models come in dense architecture with parameter counts ranging from 0.5 billion to 7 billion. And there are a lot of others in between. It includes both pre-trained and instruction tuned variants, meaning they are trained not just on raw data, but also fine tuned to follow user instructions effectively. They inherit training methodologies from large Hanjuan A13 billion model, ensuring strong generalization and performance. This is built with practicality in mind. The series supports a lot of advanced quantization techniques that reduce model size and computational demands without any loss in accuracy, or if there is any, it is very, very minimal. I will be talking more about its architecture, but for now, let's try to get it installed. I am going to use this Ubuntu system and I have one GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. The tool which I'm going to use for installing and running this model locally is VLLM. If you don't know what VLLM is, just go to my channel and search with VLLM and I have done heaps of videos around it. I already have installed it and I'm going to serve this model with VLLM by just specifying its hugging face repo. As you can see, it is being downloaded. And if you're looking to rent a GPU or VM on very, very affordable prices, you can find the link to Mast Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. So please do check them out. And the model is being downloaded. There are four shards of it. While it downloads, let's talk a bit more about the model. And even before that, let me quickly introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGent, which is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application, empowering you to build, manage, and deploy a custom AI workforce that can turn your most complex workflows into automated tasks. Okay, so let's talk a bit more about the architecture of this model. So architecturally, the Hanjuan models leverage grouped query attention, which is a technique that balances inference speeds and memory usage by grouping attention heads during computation. This makes the model faster and more scalable, especially for long sequences. They natively support an ultra long 256K token context window that allows them to process very long documents or conversations with, <clears throat> sorry, with stable performance, which is a feature that's particularly useful in complex reasoning or retrieval tasks. Additionally, these models are engineered to excel in agents like behavior such as planning, tool use and multi-step reasoning backed by strong results on modern agent benchmarks and there are various benchmarking information. Now, if you have never heard of Hanjuan before, I have been covering Tencent Hanjuan model for a long time. Mainly, they deal in video, some 3D stuff, some game craft and diffusion transformer. And they have done previously some text models too, but I think they this one, this new model family seems to be a bit different and it seems to be in direct competition with Quen3 model. So let's see how it goes. And you can see that I have covered heaps of Hanjuan models, maybe more than 100, 150, whatever they have released, I have covered it. So if you're interested, just check out the 
channel by typing hanjuan okay let's go back here and see what is happening model is almost downloaded so let's wait and the model is loaded onto my gpu and you can see it is consuming around 14 gig of vram and now for the gui what i'm going to do i'm just going to open another window and from there i'm going to launch my open web ui and then we are just going to access it in the browser once it is launched there you go so let me take you to my browser and the model is loaded first up i am going to give it this prompt it's a real world scenario related to cyber security where i'm testing out the real time threat intelligence synthesis and multimodal reasoning of the model and then i'm also checking out that if uh, what sort of technical accuracy structured output and audience aware communication there is so i am assigning it the role that you are the lead incident response ai embedded within the SOC of a global financial institution and then at this time automated system de detected anomalous lateral movement across internal kubernetes cluster suspicious dns tunneling from a compromised cicd runner and, and encrypted backing to a known c2 domain so let's see uh, what it does and then i'm just asking you to assess it uh, tell me what immediate action it is going to take and then also reflect on the analysis let's see what model does yeah, so it's a reasoning model as you can see it is thinking and then it is going to return me the result now quen 3 is also a reasoning model but i think it thinks uh, for a less period of time this one is thinking longer and but what it is thinking is quite interesting it is checking out what i have asked it has broken down into the plan and then it is doing some sort of assessment so it's thinking is quite structured this is what is quite different from the Quen 3 model and many other reasoning models which i have tested so far it is even preparing the briefing and this is the answer look at this so it has very nicely um, given us the timeline which is correct not all, and look at the structured i think structured output is very very cool with this model very impressive and then it is very correctly it has identified the affected systems then there is initial access it is going with all the miter attack uh, vectors and stuff there is a hypothesis and it has created a playbook for automated response so you have your cyber anal analyst here this is executive summary for the morning very cool and then this is analysis reflection it is reflecting what i asked to do and then uh, it is asking me that okay this is additional data to reduce uncertainty beautiful so look i think it is very impressive i won't say better than quen3 but it is no less than quen3 in my opinion and now let's do another test in this one i am asking it another quite complex question it's a real world question so primarily what i am asking here it uh, to fix an aws iam policy and the role where model is going to assume a senior cloud security auditor where it needs to go through this policy and then it needs to understand the contextual condition keys and resource arn patterns plus this prompt is also challenging the model to think like an attacker and an auditor at the same time it forces precise technical writing and exploit modeling plus it involves policy rewrite under real world constraints so this prompt is primarily separate separating out that um, model should recognize im policies from those that can secure them and then uh, in order to solve this i think this model needs to bring its a game which i believe it is already doing i can only tell that you see it is going statement by statement in this policy which is the right way of doing it and if you read through it it is really really good it has pinpointed the exact thing which is happening in that policy because it is interrelated it is nested and then it has got it right at the flock in this first statement is that it is overly broad second condition key mis misuse third invalid logs fourth again incorrect condition and then you know it is going through overly overlay 
uh, overly broad resource and then invalid log and all that stuff create role and as a possible flaw and then it is correcting each and every statement very nice you see it is still going through it thinking thinking hopefully it is going to give me the full policy and then it is reflecting that user wants to enforce it and this is so fascinating to watch all of this thinking so let's wait for it to finish responding i'm just letting it run so that you would see how model is thinking because this is what really really is so so fascinating and you see old statement new statement flaw type so what this shows you is a previous observation that this model is different in a sense that its responses are very very structured so it makes it so easy to see what model is actually producing there you go um, so it has identified the flaws and mitigation you see old statement new statement flaw type and then it's rationale the reason why it is saying that and it is going row by row column by column real good stuff and then it is giving us the corrected IAM policy what else do you need really seriously just copy and paste and go from there and it has very done wonderfully well you see and then it is giving us the role which i asked after justifying the changes the red team attack simulation this should be done and then outcome would be full cloud compromise including unauthorized role creation and all that stuff fantastic stuff okay let's try out another one in the next one i am asking it translate sometimes you just have to let go into the following languages and i have given it top 50 or some uh, bit of an esoteric languages from across the world and I'm also asking you to translate into ancient runes and into any random language of your choice. And if you are that language speaker, please also let me know. Now it is again thinking. And this is where I believe that most of these models uh, for these straightforward tasks, they don't need to think much, but because if they know, they know. If they don't, they don't. Anyway, I will let it finish thinking. And then I will show you the actual output once it finishes thinking. And then also please, Tell me in the comments what do you think about it and there you go this is what i meant when i said earlier that it doesn't need to think because for many languages it has done good but the languages which it doesn't understand it is just producing some gibberish here so i'll just stop it and maybe i'll just keep it to a few languages and there you go this is the response that sometimes you just have to let go and this is Chinese and this is Hindi. Doesn't look good, seriously. Maybe, but you can also confirm, please. Um, some of them are totally wrong. Urdu is totally, this is not Urdu at all. Maybe, just maybe, I'm not sure, but please confirm. Uh, what do you think about I think it's not really, the multilinguality is not really the forte of it. And finally, let's test out the math one. So for the math one, I'm just going to give it this um, black box mathematical system with some equations. And then I'm asking it that um, this is the disjointed pieces of evidence. And the task is to hypothesize a closed form or recursive definition and then few other things. And there is, it needs to prove or reproof and then also show me the reflection. Now this is where these sort of reasoning and thinking models, they excel. So let's see how this one goes and you can already see that it has come up with some of the pseudo data some of the equations it is reflecting that is really good stuff and i'm suspecting this is going to take a bit of a time so let's wait and there you go after thinking for seven to eight minutes you can see that it has produced the answer and the answer is really really of very high quality besides being very correct and there is an analysis some reconciliation with primes and cesaro summation proving the asymptotic and a lot of other stuff and the final reflection is quite good and this is a correct answer so look i think it's a real real good model in terms of coding math general language understanding uh, multilinguality is not there but i guess other than that a real good competitor in open source by hanjuan 
2 coin 3 so which is always good to have choice why not let me know what do you think please like the video and subscribe to the channel as that helps a lot thank you for all the support